Bonjour, bonjour, my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, we are looking at Facebook Messenger marketing by Recart. So just how big is Facebook Messenger and how much is it actually being used in 2020? We had to all delete your Facebook thing, so how relevant is it still? Well, it turns out Facebook Messenger still has over 1.3 billion users and over 20 billion messages that are being sent every day between businesses and people. No, wait, that doesn't make no sense. Oh, every month. They're, they're doing it every month, not every day. There are 300,000 active Messenger bots on Messenger, which I think it's kind of funny. And Messenger is the second most popular iOS app of all times, right behind, you guessed it, Facebook itself. Damn, they're still relevant. So if you're asking me, uh, does Facebook Messenger still matter in doing businesses today? Well, I would argue that you'd probably want to look into it. I mean, based on the numbers, it might be useful. But okay, let's just review the app, would we? The app is installed and we are taking to the start guide. The start guide, uh, we freaking love start guides. And this is one good loving start guide, I must say that. So on the top of the page, you can see how much time it's going to take to walk you through it. That's awesome. The first page of the guide is dedicated to the app info. With Recar, you can add customers to your messenger subscribers list, keep subscribers engaged and promotions, increase customer satisfaction and lifetime value. And creators of this app suggest that you should start quickly and then optimize every detail to fit your brand and strategy as you go along. So that's a pretty nice intro. Uh, let's click on next and we are on the account creation. Also, uh, if you wouldn't mind to like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot and you're going to learn tons of things about Shopify, not just Shopify apps, but also everything related to Shopify uh, with my YouTube channel. So hey, if Shopify is your goal and you want to grow on Shopify, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, so the next page is usual stuff, email and phone. And also this app allows you to add another team member as the email receipt. Recipe, recipe, I never know that word, recipient. Okay, cool. Uh, let's fill this in really quick. And the next step is to connect your Facebook page. No big surprise there. I just noticed that here at the bottom right corner, we have a live chat. So in case you need assistance during the start guide, you don't have to wait and be on the dashboard, blah, blah, blah. You can just go right here. Back to the start guide. Click on the blue button that says connect and a new window pops up. So give the necessary permissions and we're back to the app. So click on the blue button connect and after that next. Okay, on this page, you should link your Facebook ad account. Just choose from the list and click on next. Uh, all pretty straightforward. We can integrate Recard here with your favorite email or SMS sign up app. We have plenty of those and plenty of options are available there, but we will speak about that in the facts corner. So check the timestamp down below. You're gonna learn some very interesting things there. Anyway, uh, we will choose other form or pop-up and click on next. And then we are on the sixth and last step of this guide. Uh, we will do most of the widget customization. Both of the widgets actually look really nice, but I hope we will have a chance to customize it a little bit further once we reach the dashboard. Here in the start guide, we can only change the text opt-in and the discount widget. So that's not fantastic, but the discount is not automatically generated. So you will need to do it manually in the Shopify admin to add actually the, the discount code. I really do like the design of the widget. It looks a lot different than on all of the other similar apps we reviewed so far. Also, another thing we didn't encounter earlier is smart display. In case you don't know what smart display is, well, it allows you to only display a widget to users who are logged into Facebook. So if you don't have Facebook or if you don't have logged in, it's not cluttering up your page, which is quite smart. So we'll leave this on and we're done with the dashboard. So the dashboard looks pretty nice. It actually feels kind of luxurious even. And on the left, we have a sidebar with the app features and settings. Let's start with the homepage since that is the page we are currently on. And on the homepage, you can find basic analytics about each of your campaigns, the number of subscribers and the number of extra sales this app has brought you. And I hope that's going to be a lot. So let's go to the conversation starters. You can choose to include welcome pop-up, sticky discount box, self-service messenger pop-up and custom messenger messenger pop-up integration. Well, you will need a third party app for these two. Uh, customer chat, which allows you to just chat via messenger, the discount widget, uh, the add to cart pop-up widget, and order page subscription, which allows customers to subscribe to your messenger conversations. So you can turn any of these by toggling this button from on to off. And in case you want to edit it, just click on this small button right here. 
Okay, let's see how the editor looks. Usual design widget preview on the right and elements on the right. So similar editor as we had on the start guide, but here you can also change the colors and the check box skin, which is cool. Um, the dark theme looks nice, so we will keep that. Click on save and enable, and we are back to the previous page. Okay, let's check the next item in the sidebar, which is the uh, abandoned carts. In this window, you will have an insight into all the abandoned carts in your shop, how many they were recovered, which one have email, phone, blah, 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 blah. All right, um, let's take a look at the messenger. In the messenger window, you can include six automatic all the made it oh, campaigns including an abandoned card campaign with up to three recovery messages photo photo reviews that's fun and a messenger fulfillment a notification so in case you want to notify your customers about the latest news and valuable content that you can do via instant messenger campaigns and i think that's a really nice feature all right that is it it's time to check out what we have done so let's jump to our demo shop and okay this all looks very good buttons are working and the design is actually really nice um no wonder they are a leader in the industry good job ricard so the thing about apps is that a lot of them have quite a big impact on your store speed and having a slow store speed can really affect your conversion rate. So especially if you're doing, let's say, Facebook ads, which, you know, is kind of ironic, isn't it? Anyway, how big of an impact does this app have on your store? Let's let's just check it out. Let, let's go see. It is time for the speed test. So let's analyze the demo shop with our own tool, testmystorespeed.com. It's completely free. I don't even ask for an email. So go check it out. We already have the results from before the app was added. So it's really easy to compare. Um, so before the app was added, the total page size was 349 kilobytes and now it's 473. And there's an additional four requests. Okay, that's not nothing. I mean, it's not gonna be a deal breaker if this app makes you money but if you install a whole bunch of apps like that it could affect your conversion rate especially if you do a lot of ppc campaigns so this might not come as a surprise to you but the biggest amount of traffic especially with these messenger apps comes from mobile so how does this actually look on mobile i got my mobile right here so let's check it out our amazing demo shop is loading here the beautiful button click on it and here is the subscribe widget right here so it's looking good you can click or tap on this button and you will be right redirected to messenger lovely i mean it's working pretty perfectly all right that's cool and everything but what about customer service i mean if something goes down you want to know that the people of the app have your back especially let's say during black friday will they be there for you well let's check out their customer service right now Customer service is available via live chat and also on email, but the live chat should be much faster. So uh, in case you're stuck and want an answer ASAP, you can always just check their help center. And the help center is actually a really great source of advice and answers. Like I know I, I usually hate them, but well, here, here you go. I don't hear. Uh, let's see how fast we can get that live chat to answer. And boom, five minutes, including screenshots. That's a fantastic customer service, guys. Okay, and welcome to the facts corner. So first of all, let's look at integrations because it's important that this app plays nicely along with all the other app in the ecosystem because the ecosystem is huge, it's huge. So what does it integrate with? Wilio, which we reviewed, Optimonk, Privy, which we reviewed as well, Just Uno, which should be here somewhere, Facebook Messenger, and woohoo! I just really wanted to do that. Sorry. Okay, so what about pricing? Well, the monthly fee actually scales with the extra sales you generate with Recard. So it's $30 a month per 1,000 extra sales. It's $1,890 per month for ex every $200,000 extra in sales. And over 200,000 extra in sales with this app, you're gonna have to give them a little ring. Now, the question might be like, how accurately is their tracking and do they track some stuff that you would normally get somewhere else? Well, that's a good question. Comment below if that's the case. All right, let's look at their competitors because that's rather important as well. If you really don't like this app, you should maybe check out Byte Speed or maybe Robolt is more your thing. Otherwise, you have the exit intent pop up and don't leave just yet because you don't want to you don't want to exit. 
Um, otherwise, you have the Messenger Abandoned Cart Bot, Facebook Messenger Marketing, and again, you're, you're gonna guess it. Oh, oh you're, you're gonna love this. Woo! And then when we look at rating, we have a 4.8 out of five star reviews, over 5,441, I think it was, or maybe it was 61 reviews. Anyway, that's quite a good rating. So let's overlay them right here next to me. And let's maybe do a quick zoom in into the one star reviews, just so you know, maybe there's some, some specific things right here. So I'll overlay the one star so you can kind of get an idea of it. And then we have come to the end of this app review video. So I hope you got some value out of it. I hope it get, you helped you better orient yourself in whether or not you should choose this app. Make sure to check out the channel if you got some value because my goal is to transfer everything I know about Shopify to you, my channel subscribers. So make sure to like, subscribe, check out the other videos, app reviews, coding, uh, coding tricks, or just general Shopify like news and, and things happening in the Shopify world. Basically just subscribe and like it would mean the world to me and I will see you in another video. Adios!